Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Heartwork. Uh, this is a curious case of personal growth through gratitude. My name is Jarrell Dre, and I'm a graphic designer and instructor here at Madison College. I want to tell you a little bit about myself, so let's go back in time. Back in time to senior year of high school. Now, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. A little bit of an exaggeration, but this was high school for me. So I, I took a computer art class in high school, and this is where I fell in love with graphic design. I was making silly King Kong, Homer Simpson mashups, and burning myself in a pit of lava like a, a classic tortured high school student would. Uh, as you can see from my work, I had a lot of work to do before I could become a working professional. So I went to school for graphic design. I hustled my butt off all through school and even a year out of school. And I landed my dream job at an agency called Hebing. Now Hebing's Madison's largest advertising agency. I spent 10 amazing years with my Hebing family working on fun stuff for like Culver's and Topper's Pizza and a bunch of other clients. And after 10 years, uh, it was time for me to make a change. So I made the best decision of my life and I decided to become a teacher. So here's what I dress up for school like every day just to make sure my students know that I mean business. So I wanna tell you a little story about, this is kinda of like my first year into teaching. So it's May 6, 2016, it's 8.02 a.m. Uh, it's finals week at school and I've got the biggest freelance project of my life going on right now. So things are pretty crazy. And it's time for me to get fired up. And anytime I wanna get fired up, uh, I had listened to interviews and podcasts from my hero, Mr. Aaron Draplin. Now, if you don't know Aaron Draplin, he's like the Dwayne The Rock Johnson of graphic design. Uh, he's incredible, his work is awesome. He's done stuff for clients like Nike, but he still takes time to help out his friends, his family, his community, and, and really supports them with his work. Uh, what I love most about Aaron is that he hustles. He hustles so hard. And on top of all that, if that wasn't enough, he's just a great human being. Uh, he really gives back to the design community and, and he just brings a lot of people joy. So I had just found this new podcast. I was super excited to take a listen. I, I throw my headphones on, ready to get pumped up. <sighs> this time things were different. Uh, the internet trolls had been out in full force, leaving some nasty comments about Aaron. Aaron had been reading that and it, it was just so weird to just hearing your hero sad. And I, I just felt like I can't let this happen. I, I gotta do something. I gotta show them that I care. So I gotta do two things. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this through a, a social media post and I, I'm gonna tell them, thank you. Thank you for doing all that you do. And then I gotta show it. I gotta show him that I care. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him a little illustration of his face, a little melon head illustration of his face, just to brighten up his day, just to make him smile. Now, I've studied his work. I've studied the people that he's studied. We like the same kinds of things. So I have this idea of what I wanna do. And as soon as I get the idea, all these excuses start kicking in, like, Jarrell, what are you doing? You've got the freelance project. You should be great in papers. You gotta mow the lawn, you gotta do dishes, you got laundry to do, you know, everything. And then the, the doubt sets in, like I, I've never actually made an illustration like this before. I, I'm not an illustrator. What am I doing? And then the fear sets in, like what if this work isn't well received? Well, Draplin's probably not gonna see it. This is, this is a total waste of time. But luckily I just tell all those boys, just shut up, just be quiet, just be quiet because this is the guy that really helped me get through some tough times in my career. Like his interviews and podcasts have always kept me inspired. And I've just learned so much just by seeing his awesome work. I've learned so much. And this is the dude that taught me to lead with my heart and to not be afraid to put myself out there. This dude is my hero. So it's time for me to get to work. And so I make this silly little melon heaven illustration and I just tell him, thank you. Thank you for doing all that you do for the design community. I pour my heart out in this post and I post the image. <laughs> and something pretty, pretty crazy happened. So I, I'm looking at my phone and, and I'm getting some good likes and comments coming in. And then I, I look a little bit closer and the man himself, Aaron Draplin, likes comments on my photo. I mean, 
I'm freaking out. Honestly, I, I could have retired. I'm just texting my wife. I'm posting on social media. I'm losing it. And honestly, if the story would end here, I, that would have been more than enough. But it doesn't. And more time passes and, and life goes on. Things go back to normal. And we're talking two years later, two full years later. It's May 17th. It's 2018. It's 3.32 p.m. I've got another year of teaching under my belt. It's summertime now, so life is good. I'm freelancing. I'm fun lancing. And I just get this random email. And the email starts off with, it says, hi, Josh. Now, I'm Jarrell, right? I'm Jarrell. I'm not Josh. But, you know, I, I still read it, and it's from CSA Design, and they want to use my artwork in an upcoming project they're, they're working on. <laughs> and I, I don't have time to get into this, but like CSA design is my favorite design firm of all time, all time. I mean, these are the guys that taught me that graphic design can be fun. They taught me about style. I've literally dug through strangers' basements just to get my hands on their posters. I, I collect this stuff. I, I love this stuff. So I'm looking at this email. I'm like, sure, sure, sure. I'll, I'll play along. I'll play along. All right. It, this can't be real. But an hour later, I give him every size, shape, format, you know, everything. I, I package it up and I send it off back to him. And time passes. You know, I mean, they're busy. I get it. It's a month goes by. Two months goes by. I don't really hear anything. Three months goes by. At this point, I'm I'm freaking out. I'm just, I'm a basket case. I'm like, I, I hope Josh got the email. Th this couldn't be real. It, it was a mistake. I'm sure the project's going to turn out great, but I just got to let it go. And then four months later, we're talking September now, September 6th, 2018. It's 8 p.m. And I get an email from CSA Design. The sucker is real. <laughs> This is a promotion for the French paper company, my, my favorite paper company in the world, designed by my favorite designers of all time, CSA Design, featuring portraits of, of my hero, Aaron Draplin, and it's getting released at Adobe Max in Los Angeles. And my work is a small part of it. I, I, I can't even explain. I, I, felt like, I felt like my heart was gonna explode out of my chest. I mean, I just feel so much gratitude because Knowing where I came from, I still look at my work and I still see this punk kid. I, mean, I still feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. I still feel like I, I have so much growing to do. So I'm just, I'm filled with this gratitude. And I'm slammed. So now it's September time. Like, school is in session. We're, we're not messing around anymore. I'm busy, as usual, but busy. How can I express how much this means to me? So... I got to do those two things again. I, I got to say it and I got to show it. I got to, I got to tell Draplin how much this means to me. I got to, I got to do something, but I got to do something a little bit different this time. I don't want to just make another illustration. So I go out, I, I do what everyone would do. I go out, I buy a fake beard, get that sucker overnighted. I didn't have a beard at the time, so I had to buy one. Uh, I drag my wife outside into the, it was like 100 degrees, humid. We're getting bit up by mosquitoes. I'm trying to do my classic Draplin parody pose. <sighs> take the picture, work some Photoshop magic. And, you know, so I get this post ready. But then I think about, well, what about the other people involved in the project? I should, I should show them, I should say thank you to them too. So in one day, I create four more of these little melon head illustrations, all right? So I do one for Brian French, the head of French paper, Chuck Anderson, the head of CSA design, Eric Johnson, who is the lead art director on the project, and Aaron's girlfriend, Lee, who's helped collect and coordinate a lot of these illustrations over the years. So I get this stuff ready and I make three posts, one per day, for Draplin, for Brian French, and for Eric Johnson. I get likes, comments, follows from CSA design, Brian French, and Eric Johnson. I mean, incredible. But one person was missing from that. <laughs> like, where's Draplin? He hasn't commented on anything, he hasn't liked anything. Was the, was the fake beer too much? Did I go too far? You know, probably. On the fourth post, though, I post about Chuck Anderson and Draplin likes Draplin comments. And I'm sitting up late working. And we're talking one o'clock in the morning and I get an email. 
I get an email from the man himself, Aaron Draplin, took the time to send me an email at one o'clock in the morning. Jarrell, loving the postman, Chuck and Eric, so good. I've got this sucker framed above my fireplace, gold frame, uh, it's never coming down. I, unbelievable. So now it's decision time though, because I still got, I still have one more post up my sleeve. I still have a post about Aaron's girlfriend, Lee. Now, Aaron's pretty open about his personal life, his, his relationships, everything, you know, he, he's an open book, but I don't want to cross a line here. <laughs> I just can't help but think like, will they think I'm a stalker? Yeah, probably, probably, but should I still post it? Yeah, I mean, I'm all in at this point. So I post about Lee and I just say thank you and I post the image and right away, Draplin likes it. Draplin comments, Lee likes it. Lee comments, Drell, you're so sweet. I love it. <laughs> Unreal. So yay, they know I'm not a stalker, thank goodness, but it gets better. So then Draplin reposts it on his Instagram. Now he's got like 200,000 followers. My follower count's going up and up and up and up. <sighs> Above all that though, I mean, he just says, Drell, keep up the great work, man. You're, you're making Madison proud, gives me the thunderclap. Uh, I'll, I'll never forget it. And it gets better. <laughs> I mean, I think about why I do what I do. I think about being a designer, I think about being a teacher, and I think about my students. And it was just so cool to see the reaction and see my students saying things like, I have to change my underpants, this is freaking amazing. <laughs> and I also get stuff like, Jarrell, this is awesome. Thanks for being a draplin to all your students, including me. Your heart and your passion for your students is something to be admired. You weren't joking on the last day of class when you said that you always had our backs and to reach out whenever we needed it. Always cheering for you all the way from Minnesota. Now, <laughs> this means everything to me. So here we are. It's October 8th, it's 2020. 7-ish p.m. and I'm feeling a little reflective and I'm trying to think about why did this happen? Why am I so lucky? And it comes down to just those two simple things. When you care about something, sometimes it's, it's hard to find the words, sometimes it's scary, but like you, you gotta say it. And sometimes just saying the words aren't enough. Sometimes you gotta take the time to go above and beyond and show it. Because when I look back at this, Silly little illustration that took three hours of work. It's totally worth it. And this is not an isolated incident. I could go into details about the, the posters I've made for the bands that I love, that I've done for free, that then lead to these crazy high-paying high freelance jobs, or the work I do for my friends, my family, my community, for free, and it always comes back to me in these unexpected, amazing ways. So, now more than ever, I want you guys to think about what matters to you. How can you use your skills and your talents to support the people and things that you care about? Because when you care about something, you gotta say it. And when you care about something, you gotta show it. So let's get out there and let's put our hearts to work. Thank you.